Hello. This is our solid state ARM PC uh, that we sell on our website folkspc.org. We have been selling it for a while, but we have upgraded all the software. And it seems like it's a good time uh, to make a updated video. We also have reduced the price, so now it sells for $80 per unit. Uh, you can go to our uh, website folkspc.org. So here I'm putting up the machine. So what you see here is Debian Buster version 10.2 is the latest version running on this solid state ARM PC. This PC is a quad core Cortex A53 running at 1.5 gigahertz with 2 GB RAM and 16 GB eMMC. So it's a little bit faster than Raspberry Pi 3 and also it's got 2 GB versus Raspberry Pi 3 which has got only 1 GB. The interesting thing about our distribution is that it runs on top of Android. And we have also updated the Android on this device. Uh, we have a new launcher. We also have updated to a newer Chrome browser, a updated Play Store. We also have Kodi installed on the box. Of course, this YouTube we just installed from, the, from our Google Play Store. Uh, what's new about Debian? Uh, Debian now supports, uh, supports uh, Pulse Audio and the audio stream is sent to Android. Uh, let me demo Audacious Playback. So this audio is being sent to Android. So wherever Android has been configured to send the audio, that's where it will go. We also have Firefox installed uh, on Debian, but it's a little bit slow for this device. But on the other hand, uh, Chromium browser is pretty fast and usable. So here is Chromium browser, which is from Android, Android version of it. As you can see, it loads and updates very quickly. So it's very usable compared to any uh, desktop browser running on Debian. Let us see, we also have YouTube playback that you can also launch from Debian. Again, Android is great for media playback. Uh, let's look at this video here. All drivers are background checked before their first ride and screened on an ongoing basis. Oh, let's get Everyone that. Safety drives us. So let's go to full screen playback. And you can look at CPU usage when you're playing back by looking at the task manager on Debian, which is about, let's say, 19, 20%. Well, it varies between 20 to 30. Still pretty low because it's all hardware accelerated on Android. So Android is great for media playback and YouTube and browsing, whereas Debian is very great, very good if you want to do programming or create Word document. In fact, let's go to, uh, here we have LibreOffice suit. It's all installed, pre-installed. This is a standard Debian LibreOffice version. Let's see, 6.1.5.2. So the Debian distribution here, you can use app to install new applications, or you can also update uh, to the app utility. And when we if you ever go and when uh, Bullseye, the next release get updated, you can use our installer to remove the current Fox PC distribution and install the new Fox PC distribution. 
So upgrade takes about five minutes. 10 minutes, uh, you'll have to download the, uh, the distribution from our website first. Another thing that uh, we can look at is uh, memory usage. Uh, so when we are running both, let's say now it's about 30% memory usage, but that's because many more apps are still open on Android. We can, we have this interesting utility which can get rid of all the apps so that your memory usage goes down. So here it's now 25% memory usage. So, so out of two GB, about half a GB is being used up, about 1.5 GB is still available, which is actually pretty good uh, considering that we are selling this for $80. There are other technologies like uh, user land and Linux deploy that runs Linux desktop on Android, but what is unique about our Solution is actually very fast. So here's a GTK perf benchmark, so you can compare with uh, with any other implementation. It's about 10.71. So in effect, you got a pretty fast desktop, uh, and you have lot of applications both from Debian and the Google Play Store so you know it's far better than a Linux only solution anyway the price is also great it's selling right now for $80 hope you guys will be interested thank you very much